very far from here, some 2,000 miles away. That's where they live and work and play. There's danger there, lurking everywhere, cause Gargamel will catch you if he can! Ooh, I hate Smurfs! I'll get you, I'll get all of you, if it's the last thing I ever do! <laughs> Smurf wonders how I'm always the first Smurf to breakfast. Oh, morning muffins as usual. Greedy, why do you always make morning muffins? Because it's morning. Mm. Oh. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. <gasps> Papa Smurf, I slightly overslept. As usual. And while passing your house, I noticed the Smurf berry bird with this nose. Oh, you sure it was a why, it's from Omnibus. Dear Papa Smurf, please come to my house immediately. Bring Poppy and the Smurflings and plan to spend the night. I have something incredible to show you. <laughs> Probably a new chess move. smurf Papa Smurf! Can't we go any faster? We must be very careful along this part of the trail, my little Smurflings. Ah, there's the spot I'm looking for. You must always remember where this marsh bog is. Slippery salamanders, Papa Smurf. I hope Clumsy didn't need that rock for his collection. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, why don't we sing the Lala song? <laughs> you see, Azriel, there is only one reason why I can't catch Smurfs. Mm -hmm. They run away. Mm -hmm. But this time, Azriel. <laughs> It's them! <laughs> Gargamel! Run, my little Smurflings, back the way we came! You won't outrun me this time, Papa Smurf! <laughs> Quick, my little Smurflings! Jump over that rock Clumsy will never find! Jumping over a rock won't save you! Nothing will! <gasps> oh no! The marsh bog! They've tricked me! They've tricked me! How I hate those you-know-whats! This is what it looked like last night through my telescope. Yes, Hobnibus, that is the flaming star I told you about. So it's come back! And getting closer to Earth every moment. By tonight, it will be visible without a telescope. Then it will pass harmlessly by, not to return for another hundred years. Hmm. I must send my little Smurfs a message so they don't miss this amazing event. My dear little Smurfs, a great flaming star is coming toward the Earth. Tonight will be your last chance to see this beautiful sight for a hundred years, so... <laughs> you may stay up late. <laughs> Take this to the village, puppy. Trust me, Azriel, all good little Smurfs come home before dark. Yes, they walk sleepily into their little houses, crawl into their little beds, and put out their little lights. Only this time, Azriel, I'll put out their little lights! <laughs> yeah. Well, it's done. Golly, Handy, thanks. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. Oh, fixing things is my job, Clumsy. You can sweep up the wood shavings if you want. 
Gosh, thanks, Randy. <laughs> I love helping out. Oh, not again. Smurfs, Smurfs, Poppy's back. But Papa Smurf and the Smurflings aren't with him. Something's happened to them, I just know it. Stay calm, Smurfs. I'm sure this note will explain everything. A uh, note? <laughs> Papa Smurf? Oh, dear, it's been torn. Gosh, what's it say, Smurfette? My dear little Smurfs, a great flaming star is coming toward the Earth. <gasps> Tonight will be your last. Oh, the rest is missing. Well, here's another piece. You may stay up late. Stay up late? Ooh, oh, no. It's the end of the world. I hate the end of the world. It must be a mistake or, or a trick of Gargamel's. Oh, of course it is. How can you doubt it? It's right there in Papa Smurf's own handwriting. A great flaming star is coming toward the Earth. Tonight will be your last. We're doomed! Calm down, calm down. Nothing that on Smurfy could ever happen. Right, Handy? Oh, I don't know, Hefty. I think Brainy's right. Then I know it's a mistake. Brainy's never right. Well, I won't believe it unless Papa Smurf himself tells me. Good idea, Smurfette. Let's show this message to Papa Smurf. Come on, puppy. If you want to spend your last day on Earth hiking to hopnabosses, it's all right with me. I'm going to spend my final hours in Papa Smurf's lab <laughs> enjoying myself. <sighs> what are you going to do, Handy? Well, I'm going to do something I've never done before. <laughs> Gosh, I guess I don't get my other shutter fixed. <laughs> Sorry, Clumsy, but I've spent my whole life mixing things around this village, and I've loved every moment of it. Me too. <laughs> but it's the last day of the Smurfs. I'd really just like to do something for myself. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make myself a hundred-course meal and eat right up to the end. Oh, how poetic. <laughs> I'm going to write a poem, a tragic verse about the untimely end of a poet in his prime. <laughs> Sad. Oui, and I will find my final masterpiece. <laughs> a self-portrait of the greatest artist the world has ever smirked. <laughs> We'd better hurry. <laughs> Don't ask stupid questions, Azriel. I know exactly what I'm doing. Better yet. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate. At last, Azriel. What is it, puppy? Oh, dear. And now, step two. Poor puppy. It was a trap. We'd better get him out before the trapper comes back. My favorite step of all. <laughs> step three. Look out! <laughs> you see, Azriel, I told you my plan would work. I used the puppy to catch the Smurfs. Ah! You were right, Smurfette. This great flaming star was just a trick of Gargamel's. <laughs> and a brilliant... What flaming star? The one coming towards the Earth. Maybe you haven't heard. The end of the world is coming. Just how stupid do you think I am? We'd be happy to tell you, but we only have a day or so. You don't even have that long, you little blue bonbons. Now, Gargamel, you know you're fibbing. Fibbing? Admit it. You're the one who put this message on Puppy's collar. How did you ever manage to copy Papa Smurf's handwriting? Uh, the dear little Smurfs, a uh, uh, flaming star? It, tonight will be your last? Oh, no! It is the end of the world! But I'm too young to die! <laughs> oh, I've wasted my whole life chasing Smurf! <laughs> and now it's all going to end before... before I eat even one! Why, I can probably eat two little Smurfs before the world ends! Oh, no! He's going to eat us! Uh, uh, it's too bad, Smurfette. That, uh, deep cave might have saved us from the end of the world. Uh, cave? Uh, what cave? Oh, uh, the one Smurfette and I found on Mount Smurf. That's where we were going when you caught us. Uh, yes. Actually, Puppy found...
found it last spring. Oh, oh, Miss Daisy, this cute little bunny and has... Tell me where that cave is, you little blue blabbermouth! Is it much farther, you miserable little... Not much farther, Gargamel. The thick walls of this cave should protect us, even from that flaming star. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it, it should. It should. We can get away easily enough, Hefty. But what about Poppy? I have an idea. Walk faster. We must go as steep as we can, Gargamel. Hurry! Slow down, you little blue beasts. Keep leading Gargamel down the tunnels, Smurfette. Be careful, Hefty. Not so fast, you loathsome Smurfs. I can't see where I'm going. Quiet, you flea bags. <laughs> The end of the world is coming, and I'm not in the mood. Uh, I wonder how deep it goes. Uh, ah! Oh, oh, oh dear! Oh. Oh, that was close. Oh, I'll have to go back. How much deeper must we go? Ooh. Yeah! Looks like the end of the world came a little early for Gargamel. And Azriel, too. <laughs> oh, I'll get you. <laughs> oh, you miserable Smurfs. No. Oh, shut up, you stupid cat. Camping out on Mount Smurf is going to be fun. Yes, Omnibus and I will get a much better view of that flaming star from up here. Look at all this strange flowers. <laughs> Since you Smurflings have never been on Mount Smurf, you will see many flowers and plants you've never seen down in the forest. You may even see a strange mountain animal or two. Smurferoo, you're right, Papa Smurf. Come in, Clumsy. Why are you looking so sad? Uh, never mind, stupid question. So, what are you doing on your last day, Clumsy? I was looking for the Smurfish rock ever from my rock collection, but it didn't feel Smurfy, so I thought I'd come help you. Well, sure, Clumsy, if it'll make you happy, but gosh, Andy, <laughs> helping you would make me feel so Smurfy, I'd forget all about, <laughs> you know. Oh, no wonder I can't think of anything to build for myself. I've always made things for others. Let's see, which Smurf have I done the least for in my life? Uh, gosh, Handy, that's easy. Uh, baby Smurf just got here. That's it. I'll invent something for Baby Smurf. Did you see them, Asriel? There were Smurfs climbing the mountain. <coughs> if the world is going to end tomorrow, I must accomplish my biggest goal in life. I'll eat a Smurf if I have to climb Mount Smurf to do it. Everyone's gone, Hefty. We better wait here until Papa Smurf comes back. But what if he doesn't come back? Then he'll miss the end of the world. <laughs> That's not funny, Hefty Smurf. I think we should go back to the village. If it is the end of the world, I want to be surrounded by friends when it happens. I understand, Smurfette. Why don't you take Puppy back and I'll wait here for Papa Smurf? No, you keep Puppy. That way, at least, you won't be alone when... when, when... Goodbye, Hefty. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the end of the world ought to happen more often. Oh, I'm not afraid to be alone, even if... Now, don't go too far, puppy. Puppy, don't leave me. I don't want to be alone. Uh, how can I be surrounded by my friends if they all stay home? Well, I'm going to share the time I have left with each and every one of them, if it's the last thing I do. Oh, dear. It probably will be the last thing I do. Cooking dinner just for yourself is no fun, no matter how you slice it. Hello. I mean, goodbye, Greedy. Smurfette, am I glad to see you. Would you like to stay for dinner? Oh, that's very smurfy of you, Greedy. But I must say goodbye to all the others. <laughs> goodbye, Smurfette. If only there was some way I could say goodbye to all of them. I know. I'll cook every Smurf a last meal they'll never forget. Woe is me. My scroll is blank, and so is my mind. Hark! What 
that smurf at yonder door knocketh. Oh, Poet, why can't you just say come in like every other smurf? Oh, Smurfette, the inspiration I was waiting for. Stay while I write my <laughs> last poem. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Poet, but I don't have time. I want to make sure I say goodbye to each and every smurf. Oh, goodbye, Poet. Ah! Farewell, sweet Smurfette. So thoughtful of others. That's it. I, too, will say goodbye to every smurf with my poem. Ah, c'est la vie. My final masterpiece is a disaster piece. You, painter. I just came by to say goodbye to you. What, Smurfette? You must let me paint you as my final work. Oh, I'm flattered, painter. But I want to spend some time with each and every smurf before. Bye, painter. Rah! Au revoir, sweet Smurfette. Au revoir, Smurfiest Stavol. <gasps> Crepe Suzette. Oh, my last invention, it's a failure. I hate failure. Oh, gosh, Andy, it looks perfect to me. Uh, what is it? It's a projectile that could carry baby to another planet. <laughs> but I can't find a power source to make it go. I've tested every kind of power I know. Oh, if only Papa Smurf were here, maybe he could make a magic power source. Uh, magic! Uh, gosh, maybe Brain can help. That clumsy, he doesn't know when to give up. I hate to give up. <laughs> this time I think I've got it right. The brain boosting formula that will boost my brain power, if that's possible. <laughs> Once I pour this on my head. Brain, come quick! Hand in nature! <laughs> Clumsy! Why don't you watch where you're <gasps> sitting? Oh, gosh. Uh, disregard my request, brainy old friend. I know precisely the propellant handy needs. Clumsy, you've ruined my brain boosting experiment. On the contrary, Brainy, it is the success of your experiment that will enable us to save Baby Smurf from the end of the world. Save Baby Smurf? Then you have become a genius. Precisely. Come along, Brainy. You deserve to be in on this. If Clumsy is suddenly Brainy, what does that make me? <gasps> Gosh, Clumsy! Well, 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 wait for me! <laughs> I guess that answers my question. A small drop should be sufficient for optimum performance, Handy. Uh, well, let's just hope that it works. I think it's gonna be fine, Clumsy. Before that flaming star ends the world, we'll send Baby Smurf to the safety of another planet. Spectacular, Hobnibus. Abso Smurfly spectacular. <gasps> Where did it come from, Papa Smurf? No one knows for sure, as I said. But it has certainly been to a lot of places. And it's not coming back for a hundred years. <sighs> I'm so tired I can sleep until the next time. <laughs> My little Smurflings have had a busy day. Time for bed. Good night, Papa Smurf. Good night, Omnibus. Good night, Smurflings. Good night. Good night, Mr. Flaming Star. Don't stay up too late. It... It... It is magnifique. It... It... Stop it, Painter. You're making me hungry. <sighs> Woe was me that fate should send such a beautiful, almost smurfy object to win all that is smurf. We better start the party. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
What's so smurfy about camping out? It's cold, the ground is hard, and there's bugs everywhere. Well, I don't mind camping just as long as nothing growls in the dark. I won't growl, but I might giggle. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> the only growling I've heard is from my empty tummy. Oh. Good work, puppy! Smurflings, what happened? Hefty! What are you doing here? There's something I had to ask you, Papa Smurf, and it couldn't wait. Is it the end of the world? End of the world? Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Where have you been? Uh, I, I went to take a bath for the big event, but I forgot what the big event was going to be. <laughs> <gasps> Did you wash your head? Gosh, Brady, I always wash my head. That's one of the parts everybody sees. Oh, you fool. You washed off the brain boosting spell. Goodbye, baby shark. <laughs> Misunderstanding. Hooray! See, Hammy, I told you it was a mistake. Gee, Hefty, you didn't believe it for a moment, did you? No, nah, the end of the world could never happen. It's just too unsmurfy. <laughs> I knew it, Azriel. That flaming star is leaving. It was all a trick. Ooh, how I hate those miserable Smurfs. What will they think of next?